Hello, my name is Craig Middlestaff. The purpose of this video is to cover how to import all of the Active Directory groups the user is a member of to the employee object. Once all of the groups have been imported into the system, I will then walk you through linking the appropriate team based on AD group membership. Let's start off by logging in as administrator. Once you are logged in, click Configure Application. And the first thing we want to do is to create an attribute and put it on the employee window that will hold the all of the groups that the user is a member of. So let's go to Business Objects. Next, let's go to Employee. Let's go ahead and click Fields. Click Add New. Choose Text. Let's go ahead and name this Member Of. You can choose the appropriate name for yourself if that doesn't make sense to you, but this, is, this will be um, a field where all of the Active Directory groups a user is a member of, it will be stored here. Choose Unlimited. And then once, you're, once you have all of this set, go ahead and click Add This Field. Notice here is the field right here. Once you've done that, go ahead and click Save. Now let's go ahead and add that field to the employee window. So let's go to Layouts, open up the Profile Employee, Form View, in the section down here, go ahead and click the pencil to edit that window. You'll notice that the window name is Profile, actually the form name is Profile.Employee. I like to show control borders and show layout cells. So let's figure out where we're going to put it. Let's go ahead and put it in the lower right corner for this example. Expand employee and locate the member of field. I'm going to drag this over and put it right here. Okay. Let's highlight the member of field change the label position to, um, why don't we put it on top? For the width, let's go ahead and put maybe 50. That should be good. And for height, Let's go ahead and put 25. Now for the label, I may actually adjust the name of this. adjusted it to user is a member of these 80 groups. Go ahead and save the window. Now let's go to the user window. So I'm going to use my account here. How oh, did we make that too big? Now well, that's for, for this example you, you may want to reduce the size of that but this will show all the groups a user is a member of so you can adjust the width and height where it's appropriate for you. Okay. Now let's go to the integration tools section and select LDAP settings. Now this section does require that you create um, an LDAP um, import. Here I've called this LDAP users and you can see by my filter I am importing users that are a member of the IT group. Okay. So let's go ahead and go in here, click Next, and Next. Let's get to the Field Mapping section. And I click the plus sign to identify a new mapping. So let's go down to the Member of Field. 
Now, this dropdown, you'll notice that the member of field is here. If we were to choose member of um, as the AD attribute, what it would do is it would import and only list the first group a user is a member of. So we need to make an adjustment to this source and use an expression instead. Okay. So the expression that we'll be using for this is under functions, LDAP functions, and concat LDAP attributes. So let's go ahead and double click that. Now, inside of here, we need to put double quotes and use the filled member of. Outside this, let's go ahead and put comma, space, and double quotes, and we'll put a colon. So what this will do is it'll combine all of the values in the member of filled, and it will separate them with a with a colon. So let's go ahead and click Save. If you want, you can click Preview, target a user, and now you can see the member of filled and all of the groups that this user is a member of. Okay. Notice here's the colon. That is the separator between each each of the groups a user is a member of. Okay. Once you've got that in place, go ahead and click next, next, save it. And I'll go ahead and synchronize it. Okay. Now let's go look at the user. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Now you can see all of the groups that this user, Craig Middlestat, is a member of in Active Directory. Okay, so that is how to bring in all the security groups a user is a member of to the member of field in Service Manager. Now let's, let's um, create a team for one of these security groups and um, I, I will walk you through automatically mapping that team to a specific security group based on their membership. So let's go to my domain controller. Let's determine what team we need to create for this. Okay. So let's say, uh, actually let's go back here and explain uh, something in the mapping. If we look at the mapping, you'll notice that we have a team identified here, and the default team for this import is going to put them in the team of Service Desk. Now, since this is a relationship to one field on the employee object, we can identify and map one team here. But if you want to identify and map multiple teams based on AD group membership, then you'll need to go through these next steps. So, and this, this also identifies the primary team that this user would be a member of. Okay. So let's go back to my domain controller and let's pick on this server management. This is a security group that this user is a member of. Let's go back to our console and go to Teams. Make sure I get the name right. Server Management. Make sure I don't already have a team named Server Management. I do not. So let's go ahead and identify that. Now, the team name doesn't necessarily have to be the exact name as what's in Active Directory, but for this example I will use exactly the same one. Okay, Let's identify this as a service desk group that can be assigned a ticket. Um, let's go ahead and identify a team manager. A team email. For, for this example I will put just the um, team manager's email and, let, and go ahead and click Save. 
Okay. Now that we have our team created, we need to go to business objects. Let's go back to the employee business object, business rules. From, from here, we will do a new triggered action. So let's go ahead and select this triggered action here. And let's call this um, link server management team. Okay, on the event that will trigger this, let's do it on field event, on initialize and update, and select a field. Let's use member of. Now we will need to enter in a conditional expression so that only users where it's found that they're in the server management team that this triggered action will kick off. So let's use the following expression. So what we want to do is a is not null. Use a find command. Member of server management. Go space one. So what this is going to do is look at the is member of field is, is not null. It will find if it contains server management, then it will initiate this trigger. And that is based on the contents of the member of field in service manager. Let's go ahead and click next. Now for the configure new action section, let's go ahead and drop that down and click search and link. From here, click Next. For the relationship, we need to come down and choose Profile Employee Associated by Standard User Team. Standard User Team, drop this down and put Team. is equal to server management. Okay, go ahead and click Save. Now we have a triggered action that if it finds server management in the member of field, it will link to the server management team for that user. Now for each of the groups that you want to map um, to, to the member of groups, to teams in service manager, you would need to add one for each of those. Okay. For this example, I will only show the one. So let's go ahead and run the import. Let's go ahead and click sync now. Now let's go to the this user here. Now notice it didn't update. Now that trigger is based on this field updating or initializing. So if you're doing this for the first time you may want to configure before you import it the first time. You may want to create your business rules that will trigger based on this field being updated. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a space at the end of this and click Save just to update that field. Now what you'll notice is a new team has been mapped. Now you'll notice that service man server management has been linked to this user based on the AD group membership of server management. 
This concludes this training video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Have a nice day.